नमस्ते इट्स माय इमेंट्स प्रेजर टू इंटरेक्ट विद यू थ्रू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन समथिंग अबाउट द टाइनी एंड द रिमोट विलेज नेम्ड एज ज्वालापुरम दिस ज्वालापुरम लाइज एट Banganpalli constituency in Andhra Pradesh. The name of the village relates to something about the fire. The jwala means the flames of the fire. Okay. Before going to this uh, jwala puram. let us recollect something about the volcanic places in the world as you are well aware that indonesia philippines java and sumatra even japan also plays a vital role in the volcanic eruption hence most of these places will be called as pacific ring of fire exclusively these areas are under the seismic zones and also it comes under the volcanic zones also several times the impacts of seismic and also the volcanic the impact of these things caused seriously even to the various continents right i would like to tell something about a, a volcanic eruption there is a volcanic mountain named as a tobu which lies in indonesia due to this volcanic eruption that means that the, the tobo volcanic corruption a big lake was formed in indonesia due to volcanic that is the biggest lake in the world the length of that lake is 100 kilometers and width of the lake is 30 kilometers and the depth of the lake is 50 kilometers that means 100 by 30 by 50 kilometers dimensions can be seen even even now in indonesia and a mazin after eruption huge ashes flames flames of this uh, volcanic ashes plumes were formed in the clouds way in a big clouds way and traveled and covered almost the places of that area and traveled towards the various places and towards the various continents also that plumes causes that volcanic ash plumes causes impact that impacts even on human kind animal kind kind kingdom and also on temperature and also on the crops whether that impacts even to the india whether any ashes were be noticed in in india 
that has to be discussed. ऊपर अभिजरा अभिजरा ऊपर पहले से ओके सर नीचे नीचे Seventy-five thousand years back, a volcanic mountain named as the Tobu was erupted, and the ashes were travelled towards the direction of west and the northwest of Indonesia. Obviously. that ashes was traveled through air and deposited in the various places of southern india and also even in madhya pradesh my friends these tobo ashes can be seen in andhra pradesh karnataka tamil nadu kerala and not only that and further it traveled through air and crossed the arabia ocean and deposited in the coastal side of eastern coastal side of africa it's a great journey has taken the fire ashes has taken such a lengthy journey you may believe or you may not but it's a known fact i think you can also believe it and the example recently that will be in the year of 2004 that will be called as a boxing tsunami it ha- probably this tsunami happened on 26th december 2004 that is a powerful under sea earthquake struck at sumatra islands due to that that tsunami happened and affected even our chennai thousands of people crores of property damage that is equal to 23000 hiroshima atomic bombs mas the effect of that one that tsunami effect itself is 23000 hiroshima atomic bombs in the same way this tobo after eruption this tobo ashes was traveled towards the direction of west and northwest and deposited in the various places of southern india especially that type of tobo ash has deposited at the jawaharlal the name itself is very peculiar one you know i think you noticed that jwala means it relates to the flames of the fire hence then our ancestors named it as jwala param probably my friends there is a locally stream water stream is there named as jurregu wa he was astonished and noticed more than 
9 to 11 feet depositions of this toba ash in that jurego bag. That's really amazing one. It which inspires like anything and made me a, a lot of research. And moreover, the importance of this ashes are to be taken in a different angles also. 